At the beginning of the film, we are informed that a long time ago, an avenging spirit was thought to inhabit old people. A dark power took possession of the frailest members of the clan and drove them into a blind rage. Next, we see an old man listening to the news of a storm on his radio. His nurse soon arrives to attend to him, but gets spooked by the unlocked door. She gets inside and couldn't find him and starts to look around when the man comes from behind, knocking her down. He begins to do something terrible to her until she stops screaming. The man then sobs, looks out the window at the rainy night, and howls. The city outside seems to be in the wreckage, and a voice tells us that in the coming days, the world is going into chaos. We are then taken on the road, where Ella is driving with her daughter, Laura, and her son, Noah, to their native town. It seems that Laura hates her mother for leaving their father. While Ella is excited to attend her sister, Sana's wedding, her kids are looking forward to meeting their father, Lucas, and grandfather, Ake. It turns out that Ella had an argument with her father, who didn't want her to get divorced, and hasn't spoken to him since. Ella left for the city with her children, while Lucas stayed behind and is now dating a woman named Kim. They are welcomed by Sana and her fiancé, Malik. They head inside, and Sana informs Ella that their father now lives in the local retirement house since both of his daughters settled in the city. She also shows Ella the other house where the couple is planning to spend their wedding night. Noah tells his mother that his grandfather once told him about the hidden underground passage which connects the two houses that the butlers used in the old times. Later, the sisters and Noah go to bring Ake home for the wedding. The retirement home is in very bad condition and the people there seem to be acting creepy. There are very few nurses to look after them, so they just sit around with not much to do. They find Kim, who is one of the nurses at the retirement home, and she takes them to Ake. Noah approaches Ake, who doesn't even look at them and continues to stare out the window. Ella approaches her father and asks for his forgiveness, saying she should have visited earlier. Even though the man doesn't say anything, a tear manages to stream down his cheeks as he cries. Noah notices a sinister-looking old man watching them while weirdly eating from his plate, and also when they leave with ache. Meanwhile, Laura's love interest, Alex, visits her, and they go to an island where he informs her about a stone statue that is supposed to be a monument to the ghosts of their ancestors, which is 2,000 years old and is supposed to protect families so they would stay together and honor their elders. Whoever hurts their families will get cursed. Later that night, Sana gets married while everyone cheers with happiness, except the old people who just stare at them. They celebrate at their house while music booms through the town. Noah tries to play with his grandfather, who still seems distant and uninterested. Later, the kids make their parents dance together to their favorite song that Ake and Lucas used to sing to them. Ella notices Kim staring at them with jealousy, and Lucas goes to comfort her. Back at the retirement home, all the old people are staring into the distance through the window, listening to the music coming from town. One of the nurses tells them it's time for bed and shuts the window. On the other side, another nurse hears some noise and follows it to the basement where she finds an old woman chewing the electric wire. Before she could stop her, she cuts the wire off and the lights go out. The nurse from before tries to take an old woman to bed, but she snaps and bites her and gets thrown off into a table. The nurse ends up getting beaten by broken glasses from the table. The nurse from the basement comes in and tries to call for help, but the strange old man from before knocks her out. The man looks at the wedding invitation that Sana brought earlier, and they all head towards the venue while killing everyone they come across. Back at the house, the party is over, and it has started to rain heavily. The guests leave one by one. Laura asks Alex to meet her again at the beach tomorrow, and Ella says goodbye to her sister, who is going to spend the night in the neighboring house. The couple is enjoying their wedding night when the strange man creeps into their house. He puts a metal ball in his sock and fatally attacks Malik. Sana tries to escape, but he manages to end her as well. Lucas and Kim reach their house where they notice an old man in the distance who walks away. Then they hear howling screams and see smoke coming from the town and decide to head back for their family. On the road, they stop to find several abruptly stopped cars and Lucas goes to check. 
He finds several corpses as well as old people killing more youngsters. One of them notices Lucas and he runs back to his car and drives off to save his kids. Back at the house, Ella wakes up to creepy noises and goes down to find that Laura isn't in her bed. She looks around to find Ake playing the piano and soon Laura comes to her and informs her about the old people gathered outside the house. They get out to find an old man who hands her a page that says that they should respect their elders or they'll be cursed. Laura notices a woman acting weird and calls her mom. The woman crawls away, freaking both of them out. Ella asks Laura to get inside and stay with Noah. She proceeds to go to her sister's place only to find their bodies. Ella cries for her loss when she hears someone outside and finds the same woman from before wearing the wedding dress with her knife in her hand. More old people surround her, but she manages to jump out the window. She runs back to the house where she meets Lucas and Kim and tries to explain what happened to Sana. They get back inside to find that Noah and Ake are missing, while Laura apologizes and says that she can't get a hold of Alex. Ella gets enraged and loses her mind. She takes a gun from the bookshelf and gets out, demanding to know where Noah is. She notices Ake in the crowd and attacks him, asking for her son, while the others just stare at her. Lucas follows her, despite Kim's begging, and while all of this is going on, several old people get inside, following the lead of the strange man. They are about to attack Kim when she says that she never treated them wrong and hints to kill Laura instead. They then start following Laura. Her screams make the parents get back into the house where Kim says that it's Lucas's fault and that Laura is not her daughter. They manage to save Laura and knock the man down while Kim refuses to help them. They tie him up and ask for his name and where Noah is, but he doesn't budge. Ella gets impatient and points a gun at him. The man speaks for the first time and asks her what she sees in him, a human or an animal. He tells her to shoot him as he would prefer dying than living like an animal. Before she could shoot, Noah gets into the room and informs her that Ake carried him to the attic and requested him to stay there until all of this was over. The family hugs each other with relief while Kim stares at them with jealousy, feeling left out. The man and Kim then stare a glance as if understanding the abandonment. The family rests in the living room while the old people are still gathered outside. Ella goes to the bathroom and Kim follows her. She expresses her jealousy, saying how Lucas still says Ella's name in his sleep and how she would never be enough for him as Ella was the one to leave him. She blames her for the havoc as everything was fine before she came back. Later, Ella notices Kim watching the old people with the open door. Ella asks why the door is open and shuts it. Just then, Kim hits her with the flashlight and drags her out on the front porch before shutting the door. Ella wakes up to find several old people walking toward her. She bangs at the door, which grabs the family's attention. Kim tries to swallow the key to the door, but Lucas manages to grab it and tries to grab Ella inside. A struggle ensues between the family and the old people when Lucas tries to open the door. Laura uses the fire extinguisher and tries to pull her mother inside and Noah keeps crying for the mother. All the while, Kim stares at the family. Realizing what she has done, she goes upstairs and jumps. The old people leave Ella and go to Kim, killing her. Ella gets inside to cover Noah's eyes while Lucas still tries to shut the door but gets heavily injured. They leave the door and hide in the next room. Due to his injury, Lucas fails to survive, while the woman in the wedding dress unties the old man. They use kerosene to set the door on fire. Laura snaps Ella out of her grief and reminds her of the secret tunnel. They remove the piano to find the secret door. The kids get down and Ella looks back to see the old people entering the room. The family gets followed into the tunnel and soon reaches a crawl space where Ella sends the children ahead. Before she could follow, the crowd gets her. Laura takes Noah to the end of the tunnel to the next house where her phone starts chiming as she finds that she had several missed calls from Alex. She calls him back and Alex frantically tells her to meet him at the beach with her brother. She wakes Noah and gets out of the house only to encounter Ake. She points the gun at him, hesitant to kill her beloved grandpa, when the strange man jumps on her. He puts the knife on her throat, and Laura asks Noah to close his eyes. She begins singing their favorite song, which makes the man stop. 
A crying Noah also joins her while Ake takes the gun and shoots the strange man. Laura takes the gun away and Noah asks Ake if he would ever hurt them. Ake embraces Noah and says that he could never hurt them. Laura joins in and Ake expresses his love for his grandkids. The film ends as the remaining family of three get rescued by Alex and they drive off on the boat while the old people stare at them. What do you think about this movie? Have you ever been creeped out by an old person? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to watch more on Movie Shortens, click on our next videos and playlist on the screen. Thanks for watching.